followed my series about the five factors that you need to look into if you are diagnosed with PCOS, you may have noticed that I discredit birth control. Now we're going to talk about your body and mind on birth control. This is not a suggestion to stop taking your birth control if you're taking it for medical reasons. 50% of women go off of birth control in the first year because of unpleasant mood changes, anxiety and depression being the most commonly reported. A PubMed article shows that Birth control causes a heightened stress response. So now not only is your mood not as good, but your reaction to your own mood is also heightened. Then we have altered digestion. The hormonal pill can cause depleted nutrients and poor absorption, specifically of vitamin C, vitamin E, magnesium, zinc, selenium, also B vitamins. Poor stress response, anxiety, and depression are all linked to deficiencies in B vitamins and magnesium. So these hormones heighten our stress response and then we're not absorbing our nutrients properly and we're even less equipped to handle the stress. Oral contraceptives can also cause a significant rise in gallbladder bile and reduced gallbladder bile flow. Our bile mixed with our stomach acid is meant to help break down our food, specifically fats, and not being able to can cause stomach distension and bloating which could lead to other disorders. Liver is also affected by oral contraceptives. This can get in the way of our detoxification process and ultimately cause things like headaches, brain fog, skin rashes, migraines, and finally, infertility. You may have been put on birth control because of hormonal imbalances, and then when you get off and you're ready to try to conceive, the imbalances are still there and made worse. Plus it can take some women a while to get their cycle to return. Did you know that birth control can actually change our scent and cause us to pick a partner that may not be the best match for us? So again, this is not to tell you not to take your birth control, but instead make an informed decision about what you're putting in your body and how it might affect you.